Right, needle distribution is officially coming to an abrupt end in the city of Chico. Action News Now reporter Esteban Reynoso is live in downtown. Well, Esteban, when does this needle distribution end take effect? Now, you may have seen needles on the sidewalks, on streets, and in parks all around the city. But a settlement was, was reached today in a lawsuit between the North Valley Harm Reduction Coalition and Chico residents and businesses that are going to bring an end to needle distribution. It's really sad that the people had to do what their elected officials should have. Chico City Council member Sean Morgan says it's something the city council should have done more to end needle distribution earlier instead of leaving it to residents. They had ample time to say this is bad for the community, this is bad for our parks, this is bad for addicts, this is good in no way. And they wouldn't do it. Over and over and over, the majority said, no, we're going to keep doing this. So the citizens got together and did their own lawsuit and spent their own money saying, get this bad program out of our city. City Council Member Randall Stone says moving forward, the halting of needle distribution will hopefully allow the city to clean up what's left. Now, rather than pointing fingers at a lawsuit, I was concerned about fixing the, the, the clean, cleaning up the, uh, the creeks, streets, and, uh, and streams. And, uh, and so that effort continues. In fact, it's quite timely. Well, this is an opportunity for us to, to focus on the, the cleanup effort. The North Valley Harm Reduction Coalition released this statement today about the settlement, saying in part, it's very clear that the plaintiffs in this case are not actually concerned about the environment. They are the same people who have fought against shelters and low barrier housing options, they say. What is really devastating about this is that the consequence of this kind of hatred is that more people in their community will die from overdose, they say. More of them will contract hepatitis C and HIV, and overall, they say, will be a greater cost to taxpayers. Yeah, and money reached in the settlement today, uh, that, that's going to go towards legal fees for both parties. However, it is unclear right now at this moment whether some of that money is going to go towards the cleanup effort. Live in Chico, Esteban Reynoso for Action News Now coverage, you can count on. Thank you, Esteban. Now, the NVHRC says they will continue their efforts to clean up the remnants of the needle distribution.